Our top story at six as we brace for wildfires. Cal Fire has a new tool in their arsenal, artificial intelligence. ABC 10's Devin Truby is live in the studio to, tonight to explain how it works. Well, Chris, Cal Fire's technology with drones started out with just this, a drone, the same one that we use here at ABC 10, but theirs has a few more modifications. And now they have drones that can start fires and they're testing artificial intelligence. This is the future of fighting fires. Any indication of that smoke on the horizon, any indication of that thermal difference, if it's nighttime capability, it's always going to add an element of quicker response. Artificial intelligence, technology that will help CAL FIRE respond to fires faster, safer, and cheaper. It's all part of a new AI program being tested at the CAL FIRE's Nevada Yuba Placer Unit. More than a thousand high definition cameras positioned across the state designed by CAL FIRE and UC San Diego's Alert California to not only detect smoke and alert dispatchers, but to also determine how big of a threat the fire could be. What we do on a day to day basis is we utilize this program to assist us within our unit's boundaries, locate anomalies within the, within the sky and or topography below, uh, indicating whether it's smoke or some type of a dense cloud that could possibly be smoke. So in a sense of zero 911s have come in yet, we can utilize the AI function to build the incident, obtain information from the incident, and like I said, relay it to the responders. Then they send in the drones. Cost savings. Uh, the efficiency of them, as far as they're readily available, we can get them here quickly. And their availability to fly in the smoky and mountainous terrain. This is the future. This drone will fly and release small ping pong balls, essentially, with combustible liquid that'll start backfires. Start a backfire in which when the main fire then gets to that line, there's no more fuel left. Historically, uh, we go out there and we have troops that are actually walking the line and putting fire on the ground, creating that buffer. With this, we can do it far more efficiently and far more accurately. Now this AI program does come with a $24 million price tag and it's being tested at six CAL FIRE sites across the state. Wow, this is so fascinating. And Devin, people seeing this story may be inspired to help in their own way, maybe with their own drone, but what does the department have to say about that? Well, I know a lot of people have drones these days, but the saying is when you fly, CAL FIRE can't. So if they see a lot of drones in the air over a fire, they actually won't launch theirs for safety reasons. So they ask if there is a wildfire, Please don't fly. It'll be intriguing to see where this goes. <laughs> Devin, thank you.